So I'm installing this AudioVox backup camera on my uh, 2009 Nissan Altima. Popping out all these little plastic rivets. Get them out of the way so we can access this back panel here. Gonna have to put the mounting bracket here. Just gonna have to drill a hole through the back in between where the license plate gets mounted because you need to run the wire. So the camera goes here like this. And then you need to just be able to run this wire through here. So now we're just gonna insert our four prong wire here through the hole that we drilled. And then fish it through the back side in here. So here's our wire through the back side, through the hole. And we're gonna pull it all the way through and then route it down along here and connect it into the reverse. So now I just routed all the wire through here along this exist existing wire under through here and taped it around stuffed the extra down here and then here's the end and then this four prong end just pushes right into this video cable and then this here is going to splice in positive into the positive uh, wire going to the reverse light and black just going to find a spot and ground it and then the front wire here on the camera itself this big like eight, seven prong, whatever thing, will go into this one and that's it, it's set up. So I elected to ground it right here to this stud that's sticking through from the back of the, the lighting fixture here. And I just cleaned up the metal underneath where it's contacting and I made a uh, connection with an eyelet from one of my wiring connector kits, like that. Now I'm just gonna insert into the positive line here, going to the reverse lights. So I had to wire it here into this red wire that's coming out of this light harness here. See here in the mirror. Now, when we put the car into reverse, ta-da! It's gonna route this wire through the rest of the car, down through this hole you can see here, I had to pop this stuff off gonna pull it through right under here under the seat the seat's got these two anchor switches you pull it up remove it and just gonna feed it all through under here and go to tucked the all the wires in along the bottom here of the trim and run it up tuck the rest and then here it's gonna get connected to the actual mirror slash camera and then we just take an allen key and tighten up the the little screw that holds it up onto the windshield and it's it's again done. I got to tuck all the rest of these wires in up here underneath the trim but for right now, just to show you, put into reverse. And there it is. Look at that, it even gives you the guiding lines showing you uh, kind of your distance of how close you are to stuff. That's it. So I've got the rest of the wire tucked up in here into the headliner. Just popped out this uh, A-pillar trim. It just pops off real easy. Ran it in through here coming down and around right here and now I'm just using this tool that came with the kit and just gently pushing in this wire and hiding it and making it look nice and clean and flush and then this excess I'll just tuck in under here under this kick panel and that's it it's done and the most satisfying part peeling off the little protective tape that's it nice very cool. All right, hope that was helpful to anyone that watched and uh, thanks, see you guys later. Again, so now you can see all you've got is just the camera here showing out the back of the car. It's been routed all the way through the top of the trunk, through the back seat, down along the bottom here, all tucked away, seamless. Don't even see the wiring, tucked in, tucked in, all tucked, nice and clean, routed all the way to just right here. And there it is. Fantastic. For the reference, you can see here, still got the light on the license plate bracket working. And at night, just see what this looks like. Wait for these lights to dim. Okay. So we'll put in reverse. Oh yeah. Really nice and clear. Still really great. Let's get a little closer. Boom.
excellent. And that's it. Installation successful. Thanks for watching.